stop won't stop kind of dude. So uh, <laughs> do you have any uh, words of wisdom? Um, oh, yeah. Because uh, one of the other questions I get is, um, you know, I keep interviewing for jobs. I've interviewed for like 50 jobs. So like Albert said, you know, you, you just keep, you keep going, right? But what happens if you kept going, Oscar, and you're like, in the past three months, you've applied for 50 jobs and nothing's coming in. You're not getting that interview or you're not getting a solid, um, you know, look at your resume. You're not getting the calls that you want. What's going on? Yeah, so um, I do hear this from people that they, they apply to a lot of jobs and uh, they're getting rejected. And one of the things that I first tell people is, number one, why are you applying to so many jobs? I am, and kind of what Albert uh, and Krista mentioned, is uh, my whole thing and what I teach people is, for, first of all, a lot of people teach you how to be a job seeker, how, how to be a beggar, beggar, begging for an opportunity. I don't like begging. Some of you heard me speak. I'm also, my natural personality is an introvert, and I don't like sales. I don't like convincing people. And so what I've done is figured out, basically reverse engineer, hack, whatever the heck you want to call it, how to attract opportunities to you. And, um, and so I just need one opportunity, the right one that matches my values, that matches why I do what I do, that matches the needs of the organization, and I can highlight and understand, I can understand what their needs are, their problems are, and I can highlight and share with them why Oscar Garcia is the best candidate. And just like, I think it was Krista said, that all of a sudden they're like, oh my gosh, we need you, Oscar. We need you. And so, number one, if you are applying to a lot of jobs, stop them. Like, how many times do you need to bang your head up against the wall to realize you're not going to get through? The door's over there. Number two, what we talked about, network before you have to. How many of you like it when your friends or relatives reach out to you only when they need to borrow money or a car? <laughs> None of us do. Then why are you doing that to your network? You only reach out to them when you need a job. Thirdly, quit asking people, recruiters or other people, to do your job. Can you please look at my LinkedIn profile? Can you please look at my resume and see if uh, you know I'd be a good opportunity? No, I'm not your mother. <laughs> do that yourself, because you know what? That all that those things tell me about the person's character. And again, I'm making assumptions, first impressions. You're lazy. When poop hits the fan. You're not going to be there, you know, when a project. Again, I'm just making those first impressions. I don't know you. What else am I going to go buy?